This is Alvaro Rodriguez from Compose. Today I'm going to show you how to create jobs in Photoshop that are CMYK and have spot colors including white ink. This is very useful when you're using these images to print on a WT7800 printer from Epson. So the first thing we'll do is open our file and we will create a new layer in Photoshop where the image will reside. And we'll call this the image layer. We'll take everything that's on the layer one or the background layer and we'll copy, we'll cut and paste it to the image layer. The next thing is to define our spot color channels. And the first one we'll do will be new spot color channel, the white channel. And here we give it a color. I'm using the 100 00, which is pure white, uh, or you can use um, 000 CMYK. And the next channel I will create is a Pantone 185. Okay, so now we have a total of six channels. So let's come to the layers and turn the image layer off and click on the background layer and we are going to create and then we select the white color on our channel and we're going to create a gradient inside a rectangle. So we'll pick a rectangle and then we take the gradient tool and down here we'll choose um, we'll choose our white color. So 100, 0, We'll create a gradient. Um, we'll create a gradient there. As you can see, you can see how you know the top part is white and the bottom part is, is not. And we can maybe do this again here for a double here, effect like that. Or maybe this way. So it goes from one side to the other. Anyway, any way you do it, that's white ink that's there. Then we can um, select our Pantone 185 and we can do the same thing, create another maybe rectangle up here and we'll do um, Pantone here, 185 and we'll do a cross, um, we'll do a side gradient with Pantone 185. Okay, so if we come to the, our layers and activate the layers, we'll see that we have these two colors on our job. Okay, so now we save this and we click Save As. Um, and down here, we want to save this asset as a Photoshop uh, PDF. It's very important that we include you know, the spot colors on our layers. Okay. Now, I happen to have a Harlequin rip here running on my machine, and I'm going to show you from the Harlequin rip's perspective what goes on. So we launch the Harlequin rip, we go file, print a file and this should be up here on our desktop. I have a, fo uh, a folder called Epson WT7900 and that's our test job. Let's go ahead and print that. We'll delete this one that was already done before. Okay, so the rip is going and in a few seconds you know, we'll have our 
six color or six plates from this job. Cyan, magenta, yellow, black, white, and 185. We can roam the job inside of the Harlequin Whip. And there's our job. Now the white is not showing because the white is white and, and um, uh, the background of the color is white. So we could probably come over here and on the rip, tell the rip to change the color of the preview to something other than white, maybe green. And let's see if we can see our white dots. So those green dots that you see there are actually the white dots on that you know, little print white on the axis. We just uh, change the color here to green so that you can, they could be re represented on the screen. So there you have it, uh, how to create spot colors in Photoshop with CMYK images to be printed on a WT7900 with star proof, a composed star proof. Thank you very much.